Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Chris here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday night. Hope you're being safe. Um, I'm just sitting back here. My wife just got home, so want to bring you guys a quick update on Litecoin. Talk to you, show you kind of what I'm looking at, what I'm seeing, different things like that. So guys, right now we're at ninety-six dollars and twenty-three cents, and this is Litecoin on the one hour. So you guys know that I've been studying into the Elliott Wave a little bit, and remember, guys, I'm still a beginner in all this. So what I'm seeing is this Elliott Wave count playing out, and what we have here is a one, and then a two, which didn't retrace back past, and then we had a run. To three our impulse wave here and then we had our pull back to four then we ran up for our fifth wave right here once we had that fifth wave you could see that we the RSI was starting to have bearish divergence when it starts to curl over like that and the next thing that you noticed that we've been charting out or mapping out we had our a B C correction so we had that reaction bounce right there came up tested the trend line hit the trend line couldn't get past the trend line came back down and made that lower C and now you're seeing bullish divergence on the one hour chart right here and that's with that C correction so when I was mapping this out this was right up in here and I just pulled this down and that's actually where it's been landing right now and it looks like we're kind of having a little bit of a, a slight reversal here on the one hour kind of have that Harami candle but we need bigger volume to continue to follow through if you want to get up through the trend line now remember with trend lines if you get through the trend lines a lot of times you'll bust through the trend line then you'll come back up and that'll be support mm -hmm. So you'll run up, you'll come back and catch it as support, essentially is what happens, and then you bounce back up again. But my thoughts is, is this the start of the next wave here if we could get through this? So our overall trend line on this lower is, excuse me guys, still up. So do you see that? So we're still moving up right now. Are we going to have a break up out of here, set a one, come back two, three, you know what I'm talking about, how we said we have to change the trend. You have to have the higher highs, higher lows. That's what's so important. So right now we've had on this ABC correction, if that's what it is, guys, remember I said all this is subjective. So this is just what I'm seeing right now and from what I've been reading, different things like that. So when you have this ABC correction, each time it's coming to that trend line right there and then it came back down, but it's really important for you to notice that we've been holding this this upper tr or this lower trend line right here and that's why I think this could be the start of this next wave to try to come up and set a higher high so that's my thoughts on this guys I, I think that we're having a slight reversal but be very careful because we could very well come up and hit this trend line and then come back down test this one right here and then see if we can have a breakout so remember you always have to have two situations if this then that back and forth so we have a bullish case breaking up through we have a bearish case where we could come up right here get rejected on this that could be a bear flag and then we could fall back down we could have one of those you know extended C waves or whatnot where it's at one two three four five down so just keep that in mind guys but right now it's nice to see that bullish divergence here on the RSI the RSI has been around 41 and uh, we're up above that 40 40 mark which is important Remember, we want to turn 40 on the RSI into support. We don't want that to become resistance. Right there, so we broke out through that. So most likely we may come up. Remember where that could complete maybe this first wave. Come up here and then come back down. Test the 40 and then make another move for that third. So remember, guys, we're just looking at this in the hour. We are at 96 right there. And then also when we had this ABC correction, if you read about it, a lot of times the ABC correction will fall on the 618. And that's what it did right here when we started to have this little reversal down here. So that's interesting, guys, because that's what you do. You just read about this stuff and you kind of see how it plays out. And it's pretty interesting because it can go from, you know, years, decades, time spans to years down to minutes. All the way down to minutes in these patterns so if you guys haven't done any research into it take a look at it it's just it's pretty interesting you know 
even in here, guys, it almost looks like there's little five waves running up where you could get a one, a two, a three, a slight pullback on four, kind of moving sideways, then a five, and then we came back down. So it's just a little a little thing to, to keep in mind along with other things like candles, trend lines, Fibonacci, Bollinger Bands, moving averages, all those different type of things. Because right now our moving averages the 50 and the 20 they're overhead right now so keep that in mind that those are overhead resistance along with the 50 right now which is at 9602 so just keep all this stuff in mind guys remember you have to change trend on the 15 and then the hour and then the four hour and then the six hour you know what i mean so that's you got to keep scaling out so if this is happening here it's not necessarily happening on the longer time frames so keep that in mind I hope you guys are having a wonderful night and uh, just leave some comments down there, like, subscribe, all that type of stuff and tell me what you guys are doing tonight. Are you studying? Are you going out? Are you having fun? What are you guys up to who are spending time with the family? So I hope you all have a wonderful night. God bless each and every one of you and let's see if we can make a move and get over top of this here, this RSI, which is around 67. You know guys while I'm at it, let's see if we can check the MACD quick. It will give me enough indicators okay so the MACD we're having a slight hook right here guys get that out okay so it's starting to move a little bit and we're having a little bit of bullish divergence there in the history I'm starting to tick down just a little bit but always know that this stuff can change very quick guys we're we're in a manipulated market and you have to remember that so we're having that little a little bit right there but um remember like i said protect your capital i'm long on litecoin i think it's going to do many great things and if you guys want me to cover any other coins put them down there um you know that i like omise go another one that i really think is a sleeper guys you know we've talked about digibyte but also civic civic has been having a lot of good partnerships and they're doing a lot of really cool things and the coin ico'd at 10 cents and I was getting some for around 20 cents just recently on this pullback. And I do feel like it's one that could be something special, especially with what it is in the, the cyber security and all that type of stuff. Security is going to be really big. And Vinny, the founder, if you research into him, he's a very motivated guy. He, he hustles. I mean, he invested in Bitcoin early. He's smart. And also Cedric Dahl, if you listen to him, a very smart man, bought Bitcoin at $3.00. He said he's friends with Vinny and he believes in him and he I, I believe Cedric to be genuine and he was saying that he really believes it could be one of the next Bitcoin Ethereum in terms of percentage gains down the road guys this I feel like it could be a coin that could go from 20 cents to you know $17 just like EOS and different other coins have done you know it, it's been done so he kind of hunts for those Cedric does. He hunts for the put $1 in, try to get $1,000 back return. You know, I'm trying to go for guys. Yeah, I put a dollar in. If I can get 10 back, that's great. And then continue to build from there. But he's a really smart guy. And he was even talking about Civic and Filecoin were the ones he kind of compared to Bitcoin and Ethereum in terms of percentage gains. So I think that's one to keep your eye out on. Remember, I'm not your financial advisor. I don't want to be. You don't want me to be. But I'm here to try to help you and show you what I'm learning. And remember, guys, I can be wrong at any point. I am uh, I'm learning just, just as much as you guys are. But I'm putting it out here. And me putting it out here helps me get better at this stuff. So I'm going to continue to work. I'm going to continue to hustle for you guys. And like I said, we're, we're going to do this together. And when this next market cycle happens, I think it's going to be something very special. And all the people who are hating right now are going to be very salty. And this is going to be the biggest FOMO session that we've ever seen. So this is Chris signing off, guys. God bless you all. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Help us get to that 3,000. It's something very special. Thank you.